Ted Donaldson, the former child actor who starred as Cornelius Neely Nolan in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, and Bud Anderson in the original radio version of Father Knows Best, died March 1 at the age of 89. He made his big screen debut in the 1944 fantasy comedy Once Upon a Time, opposite Cary Grant and Janet Blair, and also headlined all eight of the Adventures of Rusty Children's films, centered on a German shepherd dog named Rusty. Other credits included movies Mr. Winkle Goes to War, A Guy, A Gal and a Pal, Personality Kid, The Decision of Christopher Blake, and Phone Call from a Stranger, and shows Front Row Center, Matinee Theater, and The Silent Service. Donaldson also starred in the Broadway productions of Life with Father and Sons and Soldiers. Later in life, Donaldson taught acting classes and worked at a bookstore in Hollywood. Bert I. Gordon, the sci-fi director, writer, producer, and visual effects artist behind some of cinema's greatest giant monster films, died March 8 at the age of 100. He made his directorial debut with the 1955 film King Dinosaur, in which four scientists travel to a new planet, only to discover that it's inhabited by larger-than-life creatures including an iguana, an armadillo, and a mastodon. Gordon's supersized adventures soared to new heights in the following years as he wrote and directed 1957's The Amazing Colossal Man, unleashed large locusts to terrorize Chicago in 1957's Beginning of the End, and set a small town up against a big arachnid in 1958's Earth vs. the Spider. His other credits include 1960's The Boy and the Pirates, 1972's Necromancy, and 1977's Empire of the Ants, starring Joan Collins and Robert Lansing. Gary Rossington, a guitarist and the last surviving original member of the rock band Leonard Skynerd, died March 5 at the age of 71. Rossington founded My Backyard, the band that would eventually be renamed Leonard Skynerd, with lead singer Ronnie Van Zant and drummer Bob Burns as teenagers growing up in Jackson, Florida in 1964. Guitarists Alan Collins and Larry Johnston were later added to the mix. The history of band is marked by the 1977 plane crash that killed multiple members of Leonard Skynerd, including Van Zandt. Rossington survived with severe injuries, but he rejoined the band a decade later when it was reformed by Van Zandt's brother. Rossington continued with the band, though he also formed the Rossington Collins Band with Collins, and the Rossington Band with wife Dale Krantz Rossington. Tom Sizemore died at 61 on March 3, 2023, after suffering a brain aneurysm that left him in a coma in mid-February. Several of his famous friends, fans and former colleagues took to social media to say goodbye to the troubled Saving Private Ryan and Black Hawk Down star. The popular actor Sylvester Stallone was his great friend. He expressed condolences to relatives and fans. Stella Stevens Stevens worked alongside Bing Crosby and Elvis Presley, and won a Golden Globe for her role in 1959's Say One For Me. Stella Stevens, an actor well known for her roles in several 1960s and 70s films, has died at age 84. Her son, actor Andrew Stevens, confirmed to the outlet the cause of death was Alzheimer's disease. Barbara Bosson, American actress, Barbara Bosson, died on February 18, at age 83. She was most known for her role, as Faye Furillo, in 103 episodes of the TV series, Hill Street Blues. She was nominated for five Primetime Emmy Awards for this role. Barbara has appeared in dozens of television series, including Hooperman, Cop Rock, and Murder One. On the big screen, she appeared in films such as The Last Starfighter and Calendar Girl Murders. Richard Belzer. Richard Belzer, the beloved comedian who began as an edgy stand-up performer before finding further fame as the cynical but stalwart detective John Munch on Homicide, Life on the Street and Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, has died. He was 78. Paco Rabanne. Paco Rabanne was a fashion designer known for his space-age designs in unusual materials, such as metal and plastic died, February 3, 2023, died at his home in France at the age of 88. Cody Longo. Cody Longo, an actor known for his roles in the television series, Hollywood Heights, and Days of Our Lives, was found dead on Wednesday at his home in Austin, Texas. He was 34. He died in his sleep, likely from accidental alcohol poisoning, his representative, Alex Gittleson. Charlie Thomas. Charlie Thomas was a tenor singer with the Drifters, known for doo-wop hits including Under the Boardwalk and Save the Last Dance for Me. Died, January 31, 2023 died at his home in Bowie, Maryland of liver cancer at the age of 85. Melinda Dillon. American actress, Melinda Dillon, passed away at age 83. She died on January 9, but it became known about it only a few weeks ago. 
She was most known for her roles in films, such as Harry and the Hendersons, A Christmas Story, Magnolia, and The Prince of Tides. Melinda was twice nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, for her roles, in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and in No Malice. Her last major role, was as Ginger Templeman, in the 2007 film, Power Over Me.